You wrote a, an important piece in the New York Times, an opinion piece, talking about goods that are being made, and I brought this up with the senator, through forced labor, which are uh, opening and ending up on U.S. markets. And we have pictures from Chinese state television, which shows some of these factories, um, things like wigs, face masks, clothing, electronics. Uh, and U.S. Customs have seized, you know, 13 tons of wigs, as we can see uh, in this picture, um, in the summer. Um, China, of course, and we need to say this, denies forced labor. They call them poverty alleviation programs. The centers, they say, are voluntary and provide vocational training. They also say it's part of the, I guess, Uyghur de-radicalization program. You, tell me, from your experience, what is going on inside these factories? These factories has been something new to the international community, but it has been going on. It, the type of forced labor that I described in my piece has been going on as long as I can remember. I grew up in a, in a Uyghur heartland, Kashgar, watching, witnessing Uyghur uh, villagers taken to, the, uh, uh, taken to the fields to pick cotton and build irrigation system by this very entity, by the way, uh, known as Xinjiang Production Construction Corp., which the United States government sanctioned under the Global Magnitsky Act. This particular entity is also responsible for polluting a uh, global economic system with the tainted products produced by Uyghur slaves, modern slaves. That includes PPE, mm -hmm. Christian. Think about that. Think about it for a minute that even PPEs as the world is handling and dealing with this healthcare crisis were produced by Uyghur slaves. Think about the, the, the beauty products that the Chinese government, the Chinese entities promoting in African-American community as a black gold. Uh, made of Uyghur prisoners' hair. So, you know, people always say that oh, history is repeating itself, but we are allowing history to repeat itself. Today, uh, in, in the 21st century, the international community is uh, is failed miserably to address this modern-day slavery, uh, address this modern-day technology-supported mm -hmm. genocide. And this also, it, it is almost unconscionable for uh, European leaders, particularly, uh, in light of the fact that they know how it ends, when a government, where a, where a bad actor goes after a religious uh, religious minority, ethnic minority, the international community has mm -hmm. seen this movie before. They never again ring shallow simply because international community have been buy into uh, buy in, uh, 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 been staying silent under the China's pressure, and also some of the responses have been tebet and meandering. Uh, you know, when you listen to a governments, I used to say, oh, such and such a leader expressed concern. The expressing concern is not the same as taking action. They need to stop looking yeah. the me, other way. 